Oh, the irony. Australian Labor, historically the defenders of the working and middle class, seem to have lost their way a bit. Now they see the little man as simply a source of extra revenue, seemingly. Case in point, tax returns, or lack thereof. Before I get started, just because I'm saying something bad about the Labor Party does not mean I support the Liberal Party, which a lot of people seem to accuse me of. It's a rather stale argument. I'm just critiquing the government of the day, which just happens to be currently led by Australian Labor. A better future? That's the pertinent question. Tax returns. Aussies rage at low tax returns, owing money to the Australian Taxation Office. I haven't lodged my tax return yet, but many Australians have, and they're quite upset. Bunnings workers' anger over meagre $191 tax refund. Even the ABC are questioning things. Why is my tax return refund so low this year? Well, the answer is threefold. The major reason is the discontinuation of the low and middle income tax offset, the El Mito, which ended on 30th of June 2022. It allowed people earning up to $126,000 a year to receive a tax benefit of up to $1,500. To be fair to Labor, they confirmed they were not extending the offset in last year's federal budget papers, and again in the recent May budget. However, finance experts have said that many people do not think about tax until tax time. Fair enough. Consequently, it's come as a shock to many people who have taken to social media to vent their frustrations. Does the government hate us? Does Australia hate us? I logged in to complete my tax return this year thinking I'd be getting a little something back, only to be slapped in the f***ing face. I think I'm just at my tether. I just moved to Sydney. I cannot believe the rental crisis going on, not only here, but around the country right now. All these middle class, low income earners like myself are now being slapped with all this extra tax. I've already paid $20,000 in tax throughout the financial year, but now I'm being told I owe more. I have got nothing else to give. Do you want my kidney next? I'm sure thousands of other people are in the same situation as me. Not to mention that people are now claiming fewer working from home tax deductions as they get called back into the office. And due to rising interest rates, many will now pay significant tax on interest earned on their bank deposits for the first time in years. Yes, the tax man wants his money, even if you're struggling. But ultimately, who's responsible for the tax man? The government, of course. They make the rules, and for whatever reason, they want to keep kicking us while we're down. Cost of living is out of control, with no signs of it abating. The housing and rental crisis is pushing more and more people into poverty. Labor continue to push for record immigration, despite there not being enough houses, resulting in increased house and rental prices. Do they care about the little man? I think the answer is obvious. Mm-hmm.